Recently, during a debate on the Senate floor, Arizona State Senator Sylvia Allen made a proposition that a law should be passed to force everyone to attend church on Sunday to stem the tide of violence and the erosion of religious values in America and so we can have a moral rebirth. If you want to do violence, she'll use a clock in a courtroom or you can use knives or you can use whatever. It's the soul that is corrupt. And how we get back to a moral rebirth in this country, I don't know, since we are slowly eroding religion at every opportunity that we have. Uh, probably we should be debating a bill requiring every American to attend a church of their choice on Sunday to see if we can get back to having a moral rebirth. While Senator Sylvia Allen is right about a few things, about too much violence in America and religious values being eroded and the necessity of the United States needing a moral rebirth, she is wrong about thinking it can be accomplished by forcing people to attend church. Because you can't force people to love God and experience a religious rebirth. That comes from people wanting God in their lives and responding to Jesus' invitation to accept Him as their Lord and Savior from their heart. No law could accomplish that. Not to mention, this is also leading to the fulfillment of the Mark of the Beast, which is enforced Sunday worship, which will start in the United States, which is predicted by the Book of Revelation. The United States is symbolized by a lamb-like beast in Revelation chapter 13 verse 11. It states, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. A beast in Bible prophecy symbolizes a kingdom, or a nation. The words kingdom and nation are synonyms. Speaking about a vision that the prophet Daniel had about four beasts in Revelation chapter 7, verse 23 of chapter 7 states, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth. The Lamb in Revelation 13 represents the United States because the United States was founded on Christian principles. To be more specific, the Lamb is also a symbol of Jesus Christ. John chapter 1 verse 29 calls Jesus the Lamb of God. So the nation the Lamb represents is a Christian nation. And the United States is the only country that was founded on the two Christian principles of civil and religious liberty. These principles were designed to protect people from the corruption and persecution of Catholic popes and priests, which were very frequent in European nations in the past. Millions of people were put to death for opposing the authority of the Pope. However, Revelation chapter 13 verse 11 says the lamb-like nation of the United States would speak as a dragon. The dragon symbolizes Satan, according to Revelation chapter 12 verse 9. And a nation speaks through its laws. So that means that laws would be passed by the United States, which are satanic in nature. Moreover, Revelation chapter 13 verse 12 indicates that these laws would revolve around worship. It says the lamb-like beast causeth, which means forces, the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. So, we have laws that are going to be passed which are satanic in nature that revolve around enforced worship. Furthermore, this will be in honor of the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. The first beast whose deadly wound was healed is actually the papacy, that is, the office of the popes in the Roman Catholic Church. If you want more of a detailed explanation on that, please watch my video entitled Pope Francis Fulfills Bible Prophecy, Beast of Revelation 13. I'll leave a link to it in the description box. I'll also leave a link to another video entitled The Truth About the Bible Sabbath, which deals with this issue as well. And what's interesting is that the Roman Catholic Church claims that Sunday worship is a mark of its authority. A letter from C.F. Thomas Chancellor of Cardinal Gibbons on October the 28th, 1895 stated, Of course the Catholic Church claims that the change of Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday was her act, and the act is a mark of her ecclesiastical power and authority in religious matters. We are living in the end times. We are nearing the enforcement of the biblical mark of the beast. My advice to you, my viewers, is to make sure that your life is right with God. Repent from all of your known sins and confess them to God and follow Jesus with your entire heart, mind, and soul. 
because things are going to get rough for those who really want to follow Jesus and keep his Sabbath holy. And we will need God's guidance like never before. Fierce persecution will break out on those who choose to honor God with obedience to his law. But on the other hand, those who disobey God and accept the mark of the beast will suffer the seven last plagues. However, this all has been explained in more detail in a book written over 100 years ago called The Great Controversy. This book was written by a woman named Ellen White who had the gift of prophecy and she accurately predicted that Sunday as a day of worship would be exalted in the United States until it would eventually be enforced by law and it would constitute the mark of the beast. You can read this book for free online as a matter of fact, I'm going to include a link to it in the description box. It's a long read, but if you want to get straight to the point in terms of what she wrote about what's happening with Sunday worship and the Mark of the Beast, skip to chapter 35. But after you're done reading it, I highly recommend you go back and read it from the beginning. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of my past videos on my channel page. And like me on Facebook as well, because I share more Christian content there. God bless.